It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a beer from Lidl and it's a can of their US of IPA, Modern Craft IPA, coming in at 5.5% ABV in a 330ml can. It's part of their Down South Brewing brand of, of beers. Um, we've reviewed the double IPA and a couple of the other IPAs that they've done in this range. If you wanted to take a look at those videos, please have a look. But without further ado, we're going to get this blue, white and red can out into a glass and see what we get. The colours, red, white and blue, the colours of the American flag. Wow. So straight away I'm going to say this has been brewed by a regional brewer in the UK. Um, you can tell it's a regional brewed brewery beer just by the colour. Just by the colour. It's almost by default that regional brewers brew amber ales. And when I mean regional brewers I'm talking about the likes of maybe Green King or Robinson's or Marston's, Shepherd Name, Brains, Badger, they all brew this brown stuff, don't they? They, 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 it's, they? It's like the only setting that they have. It's like it, it's like they're still working with Commodore Amigas or something, you know. It's, it, it, oh, we we only do one thing, and that's a, and that's an amber beer, even though we're trying to brew an IPA. I don't know why these breweries continue. To turn a blind eye to what's going on in the beer world. Um, I know it's £1.20 for a can and I know I've probably started off by being slightly aggressive but but I think it, it, it doesn't take a lot of research, it doesn't take a lot of looking about it to what everybody else is doing to see that this is too dark for an IPA. This is this is an amber beer. This is a dark amber beer. What are they thinking? And and I gotta be honest, at this stage as well, and this goes to the to the other discount supermarket as well from Germany, Aldi or Lidl, they just don't seem to be They just don't seem to be taking any notice as to as to what people are suggesting to them or saying to them. It's like, no, no, we know what we're doing, we're gonna carry on brewing this. Or asking, uh, or even going to them for for what? Why are why are little going to the, these regional brewers? I know because of price. It's cheap. It's cheap beer. It's just frustrating. It's just frustrating that that they've become the size that they are now. These regional breweries, and all they in, they're interested to in do is is selling meals through their pub chains. They're not interested in brewing good beer anymore. It's it's just down to them selling fish and chips in their in their in their restaurants, and and the, the beer is not even an afterthought anymore. One finger, slightly off white head. Good levels of carbonation, amber in colour. Let's get the aroma. quite hoppy in all fairness to it it's quite hoppy but you're always battling with that that malt that, that, that's there as well you're always battling with that it's got quite a nice aroma it's orangey and grapefruity it's like lemony flavors coming through But at the same time, you're picking up lots of breadiness and biscuitiness, brown, nutty bread, wholemeal bread, and it really doesn't have to be there. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, blimey. It, it tastes no difference really. Well, it's hoppier. It's hoppier. But I've just reviewed this amber ale, Hatherwood Amber Ale from Lidl. And you're looking, okay, they've called this an amber ale. This has been brewed by a regional brewer as well. So I'm going to hold the two beers up now. And you can see the colour 
It's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit brighter, but there's not much in it really. It has a similar, that's a cherry kind of ready. And that's the same aroma, but with, but with a grapefruit and orange peel and lemon aroma to it. But it's, it's an astringent, it's a really coppery, astringent bitterness that's coming through with that grapefruit. It shouldn't really be, it should be way more balanced than this, way more balanced. It, it's, it's just not good enough really, it, it, it's just not good enough, it really isn't. Now, some of you might be new to beer and you might be tuning into this because little have just brought this beer out and you're probably wondering what I'm talking about in certain instances. So the colour, why am I concerned by the colour? Right, because what should be happening is the hops are shining. American craft brewing is all to do with hoppy beer, making the hops shine. So what they do, they use a lighter malt so there's no biscuity bread flavors or bready flavors coming through. And they use a, a, a yeast called USO5 yeast, which is a very clean tasting yeast. And again, it's, it's about promoting the hops. It's about making the hops shine. And when a regional brewer carries on using their house yeast and their bready, multi biscuity kind of hops, then and then, and then hop oil, they're using these kind of hop oils. I've been to a region, I've seen them dumping this oil into the beers. It's a real shame. It's a real, real shame because it could be so much better. But then again, it comes down to price, doesn't it? It's only £1.20 a can. Here's the, in, here's, here's the information on the side of the can. India Pale Ale. That, that's what they put down. Um, contains barley and rye. Why are they putting a load of rye in the beer? Why are they doing that? I have no idea. What is it? A rye IPA? Nobody from Lidl. I, I, I tell you, because I've been ranting about these beers for a long time now. And nobody from Lidl are watching. Nobody from Aldi are watching. They're just going about doing their own thing muddling through trying to produce cheap craft beer and it's just it's just a bit rubbish for me that's a four out of ten that's a four out of ten from real ale craft beer little or no effort at all has gone in from the regional brewer that they've chosen to contract brew this beer there's no thought process there's no effort it's just oh we'll brew another amber beer and we'll whack some hop oil in it and it's dreadful. Four out of ten. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.